Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of MagicReviewed.com. We got an unboxing today, uh, but first, it's been about a week since I've had any videos up, and it's going to be another few more days uh, before some more are coming. Uh, last week was our 20 year anniversary, um, which is kind of freaky that I'm old enough to be married for 20 years, but we took a few days off. Uh, I'm back now, and the filming is all this week. Uh, uh, but today is August uh, 4th, 2014, I think. Uh, I'm, I'm sure about the year. I'm not sure about the day. It's Monday, the 4th. Yeah, it is the 4th. Um, so a week from today, which will be August 11th, will be day one of Book Week Part 1. I had a whole stack of books that uh, I'm going to be reviewing. I've already read most of them, and I'll be doing a whole bunch of reviews next week on August, starting August 11th. So, look forward to that. Anyway, uh, on with the unboxing today is, uh, it's a, I got a few things here and I, some of them I've already seen and I'm familiar with. One of them I even already reviewed. So, uh, anyway, I'll tell you, first one we got here is Flatline. I've seen the trailer for this. This is by Jay Sankey and basically that's the, the image there, that melted spoon, or not melted spoon, melted, um, uh, Sharpie marker right there. That's basically the effect that you're getting. Um, now, typical Sankey videos, and this is no different from what I've seen on the trailer, is uh, multiple handling ideas, multiple uh, venues, you know, doing it for close up, stand up, that type of thing. Multiple different ways for different skill levels. Um, plus, it says five bonus effects. I've seen on the trailer what some of the effects are. They're effects of his that I'm familiar with. And, um, and so this is looking like a pretty solid product so far. Haven't watched it, so I will reserve judgment, but I'm just telling you, based on what I know about Sankey, based on what I know about his products, and based on what I know about his prices, uh, it's gonna pretty much be hard to go wrong with something like this. So, but holding judgment until I actually review it. <clears throat> Next, we've got um, Roughing Stick. It's put out by Vanishing Ink and it's by Harry Robson and Lawrence Turner. And basically this is just, um, it's for making rough cards for a rough and smooth deck. And this is a little thing here that you rub on the cards. Um, it actually has a, a video on here of how to use it. So I'll check that out and I'll test it out on a deck and I'll let you know. I'll even show you the deck once I've done it in the uh, video. Uh, being careful not to expose too much, of course. Next, we got something by Michael uh, Michael Chatelain or Michael Shatlin. Um, lately, his products have been pretty solid, so this one's I'm, I'm kind of excited to watch this. It's uh, a selected playing card turns into a dollar bill. Uh, so that's that's coming soon. I'll be reviewing that. Next, we've got Unveil, which is uh, by Hu Hyunju. I think I'm sorry, I can't pronounce that properly. Hyunju Kim. Uh, and also, look at that reflection. You can see the camera. That's my iPhone there, just sitting on a little tripod. And right behind that is uh, a star. That star was actually on the dome or the bow of the submarine I was stationed on. There's a huge flag that covered the whole front end of it. And if you know how big a submarine is, that's huge. Um, that was on there for the, the day we christened the ship on our commissioning day. And a lot of the members of the crew got uh, one of those stars. And so I got mine hanging on my wall in a big frame box there. You can kind of see, sorry, a little weird impromptu tour of my little Navy stuff there. Anyway, Unveil. This is a manipulation DVD. That's kind of, I'm kind of excited for this because, uh, first of all, this guy has won a FISM 2012 prize winner manipulation. There's a thing on here, a little quote by Lance Burton and Luis Tomatos, two top quality guys. And so... Uh, I'm assuming it's going to be pretty good. Uh, and the last time I've seen a manipulation DVD uh, was probably 20 years ago when the McBride series came out, which are great, but it's just been so long. There's probably some other ones I'm not aware of, but it's exciting to have something new for manipulation. This one is uh, cards and ball manipulation, so cool. Uh, next, there's this new thing that Murphy's been doing, and it's Murphy's Magic, and it's called the At the Table Live Lecture Series. And they, they're, you can, I think you stream them live, but you can certainly pay to download them. Um, and I've seen, I've got some of them uh, from them and ahead of time to review. But now they've combined season one uh, into one thing. So I'm imagining each season they're going to do this. That's very exciting. But this one, this particular one has Michael Amar, Daniel Garcia, Jason England, 
uh, Alex Pandrea and John Armstrong. So a great group of people here. Uh, I'm excited to watch this. I'm, I'm assuming this one's going to be pretty dang solid. But again, I'm withholding judgment. Next we have uh, the, the only odd shaped product today. You might remember I did a, a video not too long ago that was titled Unshape uh, or Odd Shape uh, Products. I just have a stack of all these things that are in different shapes. They're not in a typical DVD type of a box. And so they were kind of uh, just piling up in awkward places on my shelves. And until I review them, um, you know, once I review them, I put the disc in my, my little, um, you know, CD holder or whatever. And then I put the gimmicks in my little gimmick drawer. And then I usually don't keep the boxes. So uh, anyway, uh, once I... Then once I've reviewed them, they get off my shelf and they're not making a mess. So I had this pile of these things shaped like this that I want to review. And so that'll be coming in a couple of weeks after book week. Anyway, uh, this is Ocular by Alex De La Fuente. It's put out by Alakazam. I have yet to have an Alakazam product that I didn't like or that I didn't think was good quality. So I'm looking forward to this. Probably going to be pretty solid. Um, then I, next is this. The social deck. Uh, what? Jeff's got two of them? Yes, Jeff's got two of them. One of them I'm just showed up in the mail uh, a couple weeks ago. I think it was directly from the creator. His name's Soma. Uh, I think he just sent it to me. And then this other one is the Murphy's Review copy. So, I don't need two copies. I'm keeping the one from Murphy's for me. And then the one that Soma gave me, or vice versa, uh, I'll be giving to you. Uh, so, look forward to that. Details to come. I, I've already watched it. I've already played with the deck. Um, and basically the deck, it's just a deck of cards. But instead of your typical, um, you know, playing cards, you have different things that sort of relate to social media. There's a whole bunch of this card. Uh, then there's uh, some of these where they're female profile. There's a couple where they're man and woman mixed. There's a few friends hanging out there. There's some that have coins on them. Uh, there's a like button, if you will. Uh, there's a little text message here. Uh, this, this is a really fun, oh, there's a little email thing. Uh, yeah, just at a glance, looking at this deck, you might think, well, this is kind of cheesy, but totally not. Um, there's a lot of really cool ideas in here, and a lot of great effects you can do with these, uh, these cards. And there's a really visual, really cool one where you show, I'm trying to see if I can find it here. You, yeah, you show your little thing here and then you have the, this is like your picture album on Facebook. You have the spectator tap on the, one of the photos there and then all of a sudden, bam, it changes into the photo they tapped on. And then you can have the spectator apply filters on it and it changes into, you know, like a black and white cat instead of the, colored cat or whatever. There's a Houdini card here. Uh, anyway, a whole bunch of different cool things in, in this deck. And uh, yeah, I'm, I haven't given it a uh, written review. I haven't made my decision on what the final star rating will be. But as you know, I don't give out products unless they're four star or better. And I can tell you this will be four star or better um, just based on what I've already seen with it. So that's why I know I can give this away. Anyway, Moving on, uh, Big Blind Media has put out a couple of these. Um, they're they're calling them the the X Y Z project or the you know the fill in the blank here project. One was the Double Lift project, uh, one was the Elmsley Count project, and then the False Shuffles and Cuts project is the latest one. I've seen the Elmsley Count project. I gave it a really good rating. I was surprised, frankly. I thought an Elmsley Count project. I mean, how much can you say about the count? and how can you keep it from being boring, but it was actually very well done. I really enjoyed it, and I learned a lot of good stuff from it, and it was a solid product. So I've, get, I've reviewed that already. It's somewhere on the site. Um, then uh, the Double Lift Project, I've got about five copies of that from Owen Packer. He sent them to me, and assuming that they get a four-star or better, I haven't watched it yet, but assuming they do, I'll be giving out all the extra copies. So look forward to that. And then we've got the, the latest one, the False Shuffles and Cuts Projects. And again, it's Liam Montier presenting, which almost everything he's ever done is very, very, very well done. In fact, I can't think of one that wasn't. Uh, Big Blind Media, same thing. 99.9% .9 of their stuff that I've seen is awesome. So probably going to be solid, but I'm withholding judgment. That's right. 
Next, we've got Collision, which is a card stab routine. There you can see the, sorry, there we go. He's got he's stabbing it with a fork. Um, and it's something in here. It's a pretty thick box. Uh, I, I kind of like that plot. You know, I, I remember reading in Harry Anderson's book, Wise Guy, the story about when he worked on the streets in San Francisco and he did a sort of a card stab routine or something where the cards ended up all over the street when he was done and he walked away and just left the mess there. I just remember thinking how that was sort of his little signature and his reputation was there. People saw the mess and they wondered what happened and then, then people would tell the story of the guy who stabbed the card. Anyway, so I've always thought that was a fun effect. Uh, I don't have one in my repertoire um, and so this I'm interested in seeing this to see if it's one that would work for my style. Anyway, moving on, we've got The Domino Effect by Alex Pandrea. This is by Blue Crown. Uh, the Blue Crown presents uh, this one. And now Alex Prandrea, you might remember I mentioned that name a minute ago. He's one of the guys on the Murphy's at the Table lecture. Uh, and this is um, put out, since it's put out by the Blue Crown, I don't think I've ever reviewed a product from theirs that wasn't well done and good quality. Uh, so let's just see, what is this? Um, magician displays two packets of sweetener, one pink and one yellow. The spectator holds one in their closed fist while the magician shows the other. In the blink of an eye, the magician's pack it changes from yellow to pink and the specter is now holding the yellow one in their hand so it's like a copper silver routine with sugar packets i know jay sankey put out an effect like that years ago um it was ungimmicked this one sounds like it's got a gimmick includes a handmade gimmick um so that's that's kind of cool if you do close-up stuff we'll see I, again i don't know i haven't watched it withholding judgment looks interesting though uh and then finally last but not least one of the best videos I've actually reviewed in a long time. This is one I've already got, already reviewed, it's already on the site, and that means you get this copy. The first copy was given to me directly by Owen Packard, the second one was given to me by Murphy's, um, and so that means you get one of them, and that is Ryan Schlutz, Effortless Effects. And this, I've said this many times, I, I've actually talked about this product in a couple different places now. Um, it's going to be... Um, Actually, I was going to spoil something, but I'm not going to do it now. Never mind. Anyway, uh, this uh, I, what I've said about this is that this is one of the best named products that I've reviewed probably ever. Effortless effects. It's, very, it's exactly what they are. There's very little, if any, effort required to do these. And the few places where there is sort of a move or sleight of hand involved, he actually has an alternate version um, that shows you how to do it without any moves. I mean, they're very simple and very powerful effects using very, very clever techniques. Um, I gave this thing five stars. So a totally solid product, but I don't need two copies of it. Um, so you get one of them. Now, people have asked me, how do I win these copies? Because I've got a pretty healthy stack of stuff that I'm giving away. Here, I'll tell you the easiest way to win something. Go to magicreview.com, click on the free magic link, and put your email address in there. The end. You will then be entered into, okay, not quite the end. <laughs> you don't automatically get something for doing that, sorry. So not quite the end. Let's put a semicolon, not a period there. So after you put your email address in there, every month I do a drawing to uh, basically have a random generator that pulls out an email address for me. Whatever email address comes up, I email you to let you know, hey, you won that month's product. That month's product. Um, so I don't know what the August one is, even though we're four days into August yet. I don't know what the August product will be yet. Maybe it'll be this, maybe not. The other thing is, uh, I'm thinking of doing uh, a giveaway where I give away multiple DVDs or products to one person, maybe two or three um, of them. I, I've also done contests in the past where I give away my own products that I've created, but that's a little presumptuous of me because, uh, sure, as a, an unbiased as I can be, uh, I would give them good ratings, you know. I, um, but I don't know. Maybe others think they're not really good products, so I don't know. But I offer them as alternatives to people who win these prizes if they'd rather have one of my products. Uh, particularly if you're overseas, um, it's very expensive to ship over there. I'm happy to pay to ship it to you, but what ends up happening is it gets stuck in customs. When it gets stuck in customs, you got to pay that fee, and it's like 40 bucks sometimes. So, um, people who are overseas that win, I offer them a download from my site, anything that they want instead of the product I was giving away. So, enough of that. Um, the the other thing I was just going to tell you is that I'm I was going to I'm thinking about doing a Facebook contest, 
and I don't have the details yet, but it'll be something like this. I will announce it ahead of time that on X date between this time and that time, you know, maybe a two hour window, sometime during that two hour window, I'm going to randomly pop onto Facebook and post something and the first person to reply to it with the correct answer or whatever will be the winner. No details on that yet, but the details will come in the future. Uh, before we get to the random iTunes song of the moment, just remember a week from today, which will be August 11th, 2014, is day one of book week part one and I've got a good chunk of books to review and then I'll finish up the books the following week so we'll have two day two weeks or two parts of book week following that uh, will probably be a week or two of some of the newer stuff and then it'll be the odd uh, the odds and ends the odd shaped week uh, or the products that are odd shaped anyway I've been rambling on so let's hit the random iTunes song of the moment and see what we get and oh Classic, classic, classic. Cats in the Cradle. Harry Chapin. From the album called Verities and Balderdash. What a great album title. Uh, I'm assuming you all know that song. I mean, that's a, that's a classic. And even if you're a little bit younger, I mean, that's before my time. But even if you're a bit younger, uh, Ugly Kid Joe did a version of it in the 90s. So, uh, which is also great. I also happen to have that on here. Either way, great song, particularly if you're a parent. You'll definitely appreciate the meaning of that song. Cats in the Cradle, Harry Chapin. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on August 11th, 2014 for Book Week Part 1. Peace out.